Nettie Maria Stevens was an American biologist and geneticist. She discovered that chromosomes, known as X and Y, are responsible for determining the gender of an individual in the womb. Stevens went to the Zoological Institute of Würzburg, Germany. She received a PhD from Bryn Mawr. Nettie Stevens was born on July 7, 1861, and died on May 4, 1912. Stevens' earliest field of research was morphology and taxonomy of the clylite protozoa, but soon turned to cytology and the regenerative process. Her studies in regeneration turned into a study of differentiation of embryos, then to a study of chromosomes. Experimentation in 1905 with the yellow mealworm led Nettie to the conclusion that chromosomes, known as X and Y, were responsible for deciding the gender of an individual in the womb. You're probably wondering how this works, huh? This is how a girl's family history goes. She's inherited an X chromosome from her mom and an X chromosome from her dad. In other words, there is a 100% chance you'll get an X chromosome from your mom, but only a 50% chance of that from your dad. If you get a Y chromosome from your dad, it would be a boy. The decision of which chromosome goes through is completely random. This amazing discovery ended the dispute between the decision of a gender being a matter of heredity or embryoic environmental influence. It was also the first stable connection between a heritable characteristics and a particular chromosome. Even after all these discoveries, Nettie Stevens continued research, mainly with chromosomes. She discovered supernumerary chromosomes with certain insects. Also, she discovered the paired state of chromosomes in flies and mosquitoes. The world has learned so much from Stevens' discoveries. We have learned how gender is chosen, more about chromosomes, how they work, and we've developed a better understanding of how embryos develop. Thank you for watching.